there's like an oddest middle of the road way to cover a, a rap beef, right. and then there's it's off the covering it here. where you take a side and you're willing to give airtime to conspiracy theories and random comments and shit like that. You know, it's like, do you feel like you keep it unbiased or do you try not to play favorites? I feel like I keep it non-biased, but when I do that, I feel like I get penalized for it. Mm. So I try to keep it non-biased. At a point in time, I was super biased with EBKJ, but super. Anti him. Yeah. Why? I feel like you root for him now. Yeah, he's popular now. No, me and him are at odds right now. <laughs> She's a clown. So, <laughs> me and him are actually at odds right now. So, um, we're actually at odds right now. So, um, a lot of people did feel like uh, because he was popping, I was cloud chasing. But this was before the Boogeyman song dropped. Like, I actually think he was the first rapper that gave me my flowers. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if that was his way of like making me an ally instead of an enemy. Boogeyman definitely took him to a different level, but he's been popping it yeah, for a couple of years now. Yeah. Especially cracking. in LA. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause I've I was... been knew who that was since like 2020. Yeah, me too. Well, 2021. 20, but yeah, and uh, when he was like 17. So yeah, it was like at the time, I just had super, like a lot of faith in him. And then uh, when he reached out to me and we started following each other on Instagram, we got really close. And then like he would just always call me. Like, I would call him. He'd call me. Like, we were just super, super close. Um, and then when his brother passed, I covered the story. Mm. And um, it went super viral. And um, I think that brought us a little bit closer. Mm. But then when he seen that I was starting to, like, get acquainted with, like, his oppositions, mm. he felt some type of way. You think? Because he was, uh, when I interviewed bands, he was DMing me about it, laughing, thinking it was funny and shit. Like... I, I see him as somebody where his music is so about ops and beefing with your ops, and he's, he's so not trying to hide that part of his life that it would be kind of absurd to be, like, grumpy with anybody for interviewing your ops when you, I would not know what the fuck a fly is if it wasn't for him constantly, like, isolating uh, that shit. Oh. I think it's different because they know her. Yeah. You know what I'm Yeah, saying? like, with you, it's like, he meets me. I'm already yeah, the messiest yeah, interviewer, you know? dude. So what is he expecting me? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm messy too, her. but They're with right. you, you have like a solidified major audience, major platform. He wouldn't know me if it wasn't for this. He wouldn't know me. Exactly. Like, so it's like, like right. But it's like with me, he felt like I had a different type of loyalty. So like, no, I can't go interview like the Flyboys or the townhomes. Mm. And so I had even, I did a live interview with one of the guys that were allegedly involved in his brother's homicide. But they weren't. All the guys involved were convicted. Well, not convicted, but they're being charged right we now. We know roughly what happened right. in that situation. What? So you interviewed some dudes who were lying about it? No. So I was on live with uh, like the guys that were affiliated with the guys that that were uh, accused of the crime. Okay. But I was doing. You know this job. Like we gotta do. We have to keep the people engaged. Right. I can't get on live with EBK Jabo right now. You're incarcerated. Mm. Yeah. Like. At the t you know, his brother passed when he was incarcerated. Did so you I see was... that picture of him and that random girl at the store the other day or whatever? I, I couldn't tell if that was new or not. No. You don't think? Okay. No, he's still incarcerated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. No, he's still incarcerated. He gets out, I think, at the end of this year or the beginning of the next year. Okay. Man, you got to stay out of jail. Yeah. He got it right now. He has two strikes. He has no choice. Well, now Jason Lee has been elected, so. True. Has he? Yeah, and he got elected he's last night. Totally. I swear to God, it's on his Instagram. Oh, look. God? Yeah. Man, he's but he's, what do you he did mean? it. I posted it on my story, Ain't and no I put the, way. but look, you're going to love it. Ain't no the fucking way. music. Wasn't playing. <laughs> oh, Councilman. He's the new boogeyman. Councilman. Councilman. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. he's cool. Right. But see, Jason right. Lee isn't like an EBK J Bo fan. He made that clear. He, he, I mean, it seems like he's not Very trying to play clear. favorites. Like, I accused him. Somebody told me, asked Jason Lee about being from a crib neighborhood that beefs with Nightingale. And I did. And he basically was like, Adam, what the fuck? Shut up. Like, he was not trying to hear it, which is what he would do if it was not true and if it was true. He would right. basically, you, you know, know it's true. You don't know from that response. Right. No, it's true. So, uh, Jason Lee, I just figured this out. I didn't even know he was covering. Like, I didn't even know he was from Stockton. They're like, Somebody had posted, I think, on West Coast Gang Wars. They're like, oh, the Jason Lee effect. And it was like when the feds came into the suite. Right. And I was like, the Jason Lee effect. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? And so then I started to do my homework. And uh, he's 
he's really close with uh, Los Mob. He's from the Flyboys. Los, the one that passed away. Okay. I think Marley B's and bands reference him a lot. Okay. So um, they uh, I guess he's really close with Los's mom. Mm. And so that's what made him get more involved yeah. in like trying to bring justice and clean up the streets in Stockton. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be in the local government and be like pro have drill. Any gang, you can't, <laughs> you can't have any gang connection. Seem and like you're kind of fucking with it, yeah, you know? No, like you even gotta really deny that. Think about how how it's so obvious and easy for us to call Lori Lightfoot a fucking hypocrite for condemning FBG Duck and then celebrating Lil Durk. Like to Thanks. to us, it, it makes her look absurd. Now, granted, that's a small percentage of the population, but you know, yeah, you know. yeah no. Either so way. Jason Lee is definitely involved, but. He's like he's not involved to where he's like a gang member. I think he's just affiliated. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's from somewhere. Yeah, I mean have, he's from Stockton, so yeah. that's valid. Right, and it's small, so you gonna have you gonna have some type of gang connection there. Stockton is as big as probably Burb uh, like Koreatown or like Compton or like Watts. But now he got elected, so next time I interview him, maybe he'll show up in a dicky suit with a blue bandana. And he's definitely not doing it. Get, I'm in office. <laughs> He's yeah, tell me shit that. now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just super small. So Hollywood on L O C C E D. Change it up. <laughs> now no. you out here bugging. <laughs> but yeah, no, like mm. with we'll the, buy that URL. That is bugging. <laughs> but yeah, like with with the, it's just it's. I just seen the potential with EBK Jable, but like I said, when uh, I started to like dive into like their narrative, he he got upset. Hmm. Oh, he's going to get upset. He's just not going to tell you. Right. Because I know that they all hated baby Draco for exposing all that shit. Or like, oh, I think didn't at a you certain baby point. Draco end up beefing? Yeah, what, was, what were you guys beefing over? Well, because he wanted to choose like Mozzie's side. Well, EBK, J-Bo, and B-O-E Moomoo were going back and forth. You guys can't both be Mozzie's side. Right, so you know he was Mozzie's <laughs> side, so I was like, I'm EBK, J-Bo. Wait, but you're anti Mozzie actually. Never mind. anti Mozzie right now. Yeah. So, no, we were campaigning at the time. So, he, you know, this was at the peak of, like, his career. Like, he started to get a lot of interviews. I think he was even co-host on your... Um, yeah, yeah, we did. did co-hosted. Yeah, yeah, he came up here. I've been knew who he was. It's like 2018. Everybody knew who he was. He's a troll. But is he back uploading? I think he's in jail. Yeah, but I feel like he might have <laughs> got <laughs> out recently. I don't no, he's attention. out. I don't pay attention. He's out and back trolling. Okay. Mm. So, oh, okay. Okay. Um, with the beef with me and him, like, we were really close friends. And um, we had did a publicity stunt last year. And then, like, it was it was wild because, the publicity like. publicity what you talking wait, wait, about. Yeah, what's that? And he is back uploading, yeah. Yeah, For no. Real? Yeah. And so. um, oh, I'm subscribed. How the fuck am I not seeing this shit? I'm you were subscribed sure. years ago, though. Yeah. Because that's all he surprised. wanted was an Adam 22 interview. The mm. cosign. All he wanted was the cosign. Damn. He chased he chased your enemies around LA for so long for that cosign. What enemy? I don't know. What? <laughs> What's the guy's name? Oh, uh, T Rel? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Milk. He said T Rel. No, this is crazy. crazy. Milk this seven is... Oh, milk. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's a good God. narrative. Oh, so he was only harassing <laughs> yeah. milk because he was trying to get on my. Like, he wow, wanted. He, right. he needed. He... Micro Drake. I see you. He, yeah. <laughs> He, you know, he was very strategic. He was like, "This is my way to Adam." That's a cold narrative. That's wild. That's it's a, even colder if he really did that. But I don't know. No, yeah. he did. I, I mean, he he put up to his residential. 